Hey, ladies and gentlemen, back again with another Pop Dust exclusive. I am your host, Decent, and my guest at this time needs no introduction, but I'm not going to be rude. I'm going to give her one anyway. <laughs> a host of hits, a host of awards, a host of accolades. There's nobody like her, no matter how many people may have tried to duplicate what she's done. There's only one her, but she's back. <laughs> Double entendre right there with the new project titled She's Back. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only, Miss Dionne Warwick. Oh, thank you. This is lovely. I, I, I've been working on this. <laughs> I knew you were coming, so I had to make sure that I was at my best. Your project is called She's Back. Yes. Now, I was kind of taken back by the project's name just because I don't feel like you're coming back because somebody with your reputation, somebody with your legacy, you're always going to be in the hearts and minds of people, no matter how much time you take off in between projects. So why did you decide to call the project She's Back? When uh, you hear enough times, either when I'm shopping in the supermarket or I'm just taking my little walks or running through airports and people say, when are you going to put some movies out? Well, we haven't heard anything from you. I mean, really being accosted by people. <laughs> um, and I did not realize that it had been more than five and a half years since I had any product on the marketplace. And um, you know, even my son, Damon, who, who produced the CD, Damon Elliott, to give his full name, <laughs> his props, said, Mom, you know it's time for you to get back in the studio. I've been getting a little flack from people too. When's your mother gonna record? So uh, let's get some music back out there. I said, okay. And I was just sitting thinking about you know, how many times I've heard that same sentiment, I said, okay, I'm going to quell this <laughs> right now. She's back. Mm. And she is. And I got to tell you, I'm in love, absolutely, absolutely in love with this CD. Yeah, I think it's uh, probably some of my best work in a very long time. That's saying a lot because, once again, you just have a legacy all on its own. So for you to call this your best body of work to date, that just only means one thing. You just keep getting better and better and better. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it for you. I'll say it for you. She's getting better and better and better. Thank you. One of the things in particular that I've heard you say in an interview not too long ago is that you know, when it comes to your singing and, you know, the songs that you've sung throughout the years is that, you know, you, you liken it to wearing a dress. Yes. Only you can wear that dress. Exactly. And yeah. when it comes to a Dionne Warwick song, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, only you can sing it. And, of course, people have tried throughout the years to do renditions, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot you love. There's Absolutely. a lot you don't like uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but do you feel like the fact that there aren't many memorable voices is what's kind of dragging down the quality of music no doubt you know you, you cannot duplicate voices like thank god mine mm -hmm. I'm thrilled to be able to say that a Gladys Knight a Patti LaBelle a, an Aretha Franklin mm -hmm. a Johnny Mathis uh, um, uh, you know the the real the voices that people have not only fallen in love with but have become they've revered them yeah and they put them in a very very special place where anybody that listens to any of those that I aforementioned and many many more of my peers especially you know they're they're going to be around for the rest of everybody's lives right with music and not just you know music in general with black music that's something that we hand down to, you uh -huh. know, our, our generations that are, you know, going to precede us, you know. Right. With my dad, you know, he handed me down The Temptations mm -hmm. and, you know, he handed me down Motown and, of course, you know, you, you know, Aretha, Gladys, all those names that you mentioned. Right. And I want to feel like I can do the same thing with, you know, the music of my generation in a sense, but I feel like that's kind of eluding us because there aren't too many pure vocalists or people who are singing about things that kind of echo throughout, you know. Exactly, the, that has sustainability, you know. It's, it's a very rare song that appears on pe in people's minds mm -hmm. that conjure up good old days. Yeah, um, you can remember where you were, exactly. were when you first heard it. You know, those are, those are songs that have a beginning, a middle, and an ending. Mm -hmm. It tells a, a story. And I, I find that missing a lot of music today. Definitely. You know, so, you know, to have uh, longevity, I think it has to be something that's quite memorable 
And as you just said, you know, we know where you were, you know, you know what you were wearing. <laughs> you know, what, if you happen to have a sandwich, what kind of sandwich it was. <laughs> but these are things that, you know, are, are pleasant memories, things yeah. you want to remember. And, and, you know, some of the stuff that's coming out today, I don't want to not only hear, I don't want to remember anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. But, you know, the truth is the truth because this is something that you've dedicated, you know, your life to something that, you know, you've been able to sustain a living off of. And Mm -hmm. not just from the perspective of being, you know, an artist, but just as a businesswoman, you want to see the industry that you help cultivate and help grow, sustain. Exactly. It's, you know, it's reputation and it's credibility amongst, you know, a, a younger generation. So some of the appearances that appear on this project, you have the voices of people like, Brian McKnight, uh, yes. Music Soul Child, um, Kenny Lattimore, who I feel like is grossly underrated as a singer. Absolutely, that's one of my babies. I'm so thrilled they wanted to be a part of this project. One feature that stuck out to me in particular is that you have <laughs> Crazy Ball. <laughs> yes, I know. Everybody said, what? Yeah. How did that come about? My son, Damon, again, um, started doing tracks for the Bones, Thugs, and Harmony. Really? Many years ago. He called Damon. He says, listen, man, I just recorded a rap over one of your mom's favorites, my favorite song thing of your mother's. Do you think that if I sent it to her that she would mind putting her voice on it and recording it? I spoke with him. I said, so you like Deja Vu, huh? <laughs> he said, yeah, mama, that's my favorite song. I said, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to put my voice on it for you. Awesome. And so he was thrilled about that. And I must, I, I love the version of it. I really do. I think it's something that my babies might understand that I'm, 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 I'm as hip as y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you put out a rendition of what the world needs now. Yes. You know, I heard it and I was like, no pun intended, she's back. You know, Thank you. With the state of affairs of the world, I feel like that's an underrated concept that we do need love right now. No so. doubt, no doubt, baby, and that's exactly the reason. And we're living in such a chaotic time, not only throughout the world, but right here in the U.S. of A. Mm-hmm. And it's sad to see what's happening in the place that I happen to love and grew up with and happen to be a citizen of. Mm-hmm. It's time that we all kind of just stop and stay still for a minute and take a good look around us. Grandpa told me that we're all here for a purpose and that is to be of service to each other. Mm. We need something called love and we know what love is. God is love and that's what we need. We need a presence of whatever the entity that you may praise or look up to or talk to or speak to to get comfort. That's what we need. We need to know that, you know, hey, my brother, so you're not doing that well? Oh yeah, I got a dollar. And I'll I'll even tear it in half. You can have half of it, and I'll have to keep half, because I got the same as that too. (laughs) But I'm willing to be of some sort of service to you. And I I think it's time. You know, the world does need love. Definitely, and who better to bring that to us than somebody who's been singing about it for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. With that said, we know you have the album coming out. Do you have any upcoming shows? Where can people find you at? Because, you, know, you know, you're back now. Yeah. And we want to be involved with every step of, you know, your return. So where can right. people find you at? You know, this thing y'all call social media. Mm-hmm. I have not a clue about it. <laughs> I'll tell you guys something that's true. My performance itinerary can be found on my fan club page. That's for sure. Well, Ms. Ward, thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, we love you, we appreciate you, and thank you for everything that you've contributed as not just an artist, but as a black woman to music and the world in totality. I appreciate that. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another Pop Dust exclusive. I am your host, Decent. Make sure you guys go grab She's Back. Support a legend, support great music, support timeless music, and that's only what you're gonna get here at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do us a favor, click the little bell to be notified of brand new content, and we will see you soon.